is Di here from Dyer's Den and I'd like to welcome you to my tutorial for this week and this week I thought we would use the sweet strawberries out of the new um, mini catalogue this is a different kind of technique for actually um, colouring in the um, strawberries using the blender brushes now I've got blender brushes so I haven't purchased the new blender brushes from stamping up but you get two I think it is but they're bigger headed than that but I, I like this one for what I'm going to do here but any brush will do so this is the card we're going to make let me show you the inside first so it's just got some more strawberries there so and it's done with real red and white cardstock we're going to be using two sets here we're going to be using the strawberry sweet strawberry set which is a bundle so if you buy the bundle you get 10% off which is really great so we're going to be using the punch for the strawberry and the stalk and we're going to be using the oh this one here sorry this stalk and strawberry for a, a card along with happy birthday you sweet thing out of that set and out of the posted for you which is in the annual catalogue we're going to use send in love your way so i think this and that those words just look perfect on there for that i'm also going to be using some of the holiday rhinestones which are also in the main uh, annual catalogue so we're going to use a few of those on the front of the card so let's pop the card out of the way and let's tell you what you need which is not really a real lot so um, I did this card opening sideways but I'm going to do this one opening at the top so this piece of card it measures 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 8 and we're going to score that together in a moment um, and then we're going to need two pieces of card now it doesn't matter what set you do this with I mean anything that has a, a image that you can use to, to colour in this way will work fine so this measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and you need two of those one for the inside and one for the out and two more white pieces that measure five and three eighths by three and five eighths you're going to need a couple of strips for your front message like this here so um, these are a bit long but I'm going to be using the banner pick a pick a pouch pick a punch oh that's a mouthful to, to do the, the flag ends but if you don't have a banner you don't need to you can do that yourself and then just a couple of pieces of scrap for doing my strawberry that's on the front okay so let's get cracking and we're going to start with our scoreboard and our main card which is 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth and we're going to score this at 5 and 7 eighths and that's really all the scoring we're going to do I'm going to do that a few times this seems like it's got a flat spot on it I might have to get a new stylus by the looks of things and using my bone folder I'm just going to fold this over nicely and fold okay so that's our main card done we will put those on one side because we're going to work on our insert and our layers on the front so first we'll do our layer on the front and what we're going to do because this is a photopolymer stamp I'm going to put it onto my um, oh what do you call this old board this bit of sponge thing I think I can't think what it's called it's got a mental blank on me and I'm doing plenty of mental blanks this year okay so we're going to stamp our strawberry onto the front of the card randomly but making sure we leave enough space for the stalk to go onto the front of the on the top of the, the, the strawberries. Now we're doing them in random 
border and putting them on here in a random manner all like always just so that we can have a, a really lovely amount of strawberries with all different kinds of angles on them okay so when you're happy with the way your strawberries are looking on there we will then get the stalk and we will stamp the stalk on the top of them now we'll, you the, the two top leaves and the stalk hang off the top the other leaf hangs over onto the part if you can't see where it goes then don't worry about it you should be able to see where it goes really well though being a photopolymer stamp and in some places you'll only get like part of the the leaf on there and nothing else and the whole idea is to make these look like yummy strawberries okay so that's our strawberries for the front of our card let's pop the lid on my ink pad for now and um, now we will colour in. So I'm going to use, I've got my light and dark um, old olive blend pens, but I'm only going to use the dark one. So we don't need both of them because of the way the leaves are. They're just so small, you couldn't do much with them. And we're just going to colour in all the leaves on our strawberries. As because of the, the type of um, colouring we're doing, if you go over the edge a little bit with these ones, it's not going to hurt. I know you really don't need to see me colouring all of these strawberries but it's not going to take that long so we might as well do it all together and I think this is the last one there we go so we've put our nice top tops on our strawberries and now we're going to bring in our blender pen let's move my my pad out the way, my blender pen, a uh, blender brush and a piece of scrap paper and we're going to use real red ink here and what we're going to do is we're just going to tap our brush into it and if you go like this on your paper you will see what it's going to look like so we're going to do that and we're just going to inside the strawberry shape if it goes a bit over it's not a big deal because the whole idea of this is to make it look abstract as if you're abstract painting and I love this idea because it just it makes a change from you know real colouring in with pencils or blenders And you can put on as much or as little as you like. If you want them real light, you can. If you want them darker, you just keep adding more colour. Mm -hmm. 
and for me that just looks perfect I, look, I really could put some cream on them and eat them <laughs> okay so that's the front of our card one done we might as well do our insert while we're here as well so what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our greeting on the inside of the card and that says happy birthday you sweet thing Ooh. and we're going to put them using the memento wherever I've put it oh, over here we're going to actually stamp a couple more strawberries one at the bottom here and one at the top I should have put my, brought my board back in but it doesn't really matter for this little bit and along with the stalk So let's put the lid back on that and colour in the leaves again. And using our brush, we will just do these strawberries here in exactly the same way, manner. Well, we might as well do them at the same time. Oops. That way we've got them both ready okay so that's our strawberries for our front as well as for our insert now on my scrap piece while I've got all this going I'm going to stamp my strawberry once again um, and this is in actually this is lovely lipstick but I thought that it just looked right so we're going to do one strawberry and one stalk. Now this is old olive, but I'm using garden green for my old olive to emphasise the stalk a bit. So we've done those while we've got all our things open. So let's pop them on one side for a moment and a piece of card over that thing over here. And we will actually mount our two layers onto our two pieces of real red card. She really loved this cup, these strawberries. I, when I bought it, I was thinking to myself, I don't know if I'll really use it or not, but I like the look of it. But I actually think I'm going to be using this quite a lot. And this is in, the, as I say, is in the 2021 mini catalogue. So it will be in the catalogue until um, the, that catalogue is current till June so that'll be really great so now we've got those done we've got one more bit of stamping to do and that's on our piece of scrap white which measures half an inch and I think we only need this to be about three and a half inches but I what I will do is I will actually punch out one side first and I have two pieces like that I don't know if I mentioned those so I will punch out one end first and then I will stamp it. Let's move my card so I don't get glue, glue, ink all over it. So I will stamp this first. There we go. And then I will, using my scissors wherever I put them, Chop this off here about oh, probably a half an inch past the word, and that will give us a piece that we will do the same on this one. So we'll chop that bit off, pop the two together just so that we can get them fairly even in length, and chop this one off. So It just makes life a little bit easier. We'll pop that one in there. 
Toss that one off. We will then pop this one in here and cut that bit off. Perfect. Look at that. And we, 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 what we're going to do is we're going to layer these together so that they're hanging over the ends of each other. So let's pop some glue on the bottom of this one. This red one about three quarters of the way along. And place the white one over the top. So that it, it hangs over. While that one's drying, we will use our punch to punch these two out. So, um, let's go in here this way. Um, oh, it won't go in there that way. I should have punched it on the other end, but never mind. We will make it fit. Oh, I've got to go a bit further. <laughs> Which of these are my scrap pieces? I, I always keep my scrap pieces because they're so fantastic for doing this sort of thing. So that's my strawberry. Let's pop that piece of card out of the way. And let's do oops, the stalk, if I can get him in there. go. Now I have a leaf here so we know who's going to get that and we will now glue our stalk onto our strawberry. So we've just put a little bit of glue at the bottom two parts of the leaves so that the other leaves just hang off the top like strawberry leaves do and that one can just sit there like that. So let's put our card together and finish it off, shall we? So we have our piece for the front, which we're going to just glue onto the front of the card now. what I'm doing off today. There we go. Nice and straight on the front of the card. And then we will do our piece for the inside at the same time. Let's move that out of the way so it doesn't get any red on it. Luckily that bit, whatever it is, is going to get covered up. There's the inside of the card and that's the outside. So we're going to put a couple of dimensions onto the back of this, wherever I've put them. Here we go. Pop three dimensions on the back of that. And a couple onto the back of the strawberry. And we will pop our saying onto the front of the card. I might put him on an angle this time. What do you reckon? Yes, I think I might put him on an angle this time. So I'll pop that onto the front of the card like so. And our strawberry at the bottom underneath. And I'm going to pop that just in where it's actually a little bear just there. There's my strawberry on the front and what did I do with my gems? Here's my gems. So I'll pop three of these red ones onto the, the card. Oops. Come here. Oops. Oh, I think I'll put that one just there. And that's our card. Well, what do you think? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me pop the lid on my glue. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I like both versions. This one's got a few more strawberries on it than this one. But I and they're a bit darker. 
and I like both versions so if you like this card please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment um, if you um, like my, my tutorials please subscribe so that you don't miss any more of the upcoming ones uh, if you would like the written tutorial for this you can head over to my Facebook group called Dyes Dem for Stamping Crafting and Tutorials there you will find the written tutorial with all the measurements and they're in um, European inches and centimeters so if you would like this I'd love to see you there the link will be below so or below I should say down here down there so the link will be below and if you would like to join me please do I'll see you again next week bye for now